Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Amazon two-factor authentication. To keep today's news short, I just want to let you know that Amazon has finally enabled two-factor authentication on their website this week. And this is really good news. You've probably heard of multi-factor authentication. Traditional authentication usually consists of a username and a password, which in the industry is something we call who you are and something you know. But multi-factor authentication adds an additional element or token to to that, which is usually something you have. And in the past, this has been things like hard tokens, but this can also be things like soft tokens, which might be one-time passwords or text messages sent to your phone or other things like that. In either case, adding an additional element to authentication makes it a lot harder for bad guys to crack into your account. For instance, there's been many different password database thefts over the years where bad guys might be able to get your username and even crack your password credential, but if you're using two-factor authentication, they still need to get some additional element in order to actually impersonate you. So it makes your authentication much stronger. I'm really happy that Amazon has finally added this. It's very easy to turn on. You just have to go to your Amazon profile page. And by the way, if you use Amazon, you're storing quite a bit of sensitive data there. You might even be storing your credit cards there. So I highly recommend you turn on Amazon's two-factor authentication. Now, the only other tip I'll add to this news story is in general two-factor authentication is a great idea especially if you run an IT organization really it would be good to add two-factor authentication to your normal employee authentication all your cloud usage and pretty much everything you use because it makes that authentication much stronger so the takeaways here if you run an IT organization you should consider two-factor authentication for that organization but more importantly if you're an Amazon user I highly recommend turning on this free option today it's easy to use it just requires a mobile phone. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.